Hey there, and welcome back. By request, a look at the latest Linux Mint 18, the Cinnamon Desktop, Senor Cinnamon. I like the sound of that, Senor Cinnamon. All right, I will not go through all the features of this. As a Windows user, dual booter between Windows and different versions of Linux, I will give this a thumbs up. Uh, if you are a Windows user, give it a shot. The look and feel of the default desktop, the colors, the fonts, easy navigation. I don't think you'll have a problem learning this if you are new. However, I do want to point your attention to something new or something that looks new. It's the Update Manager. Okay, so this tool provides your operating system with software and security updates. Please choose an update policy. I believe they recommend the middle one, but starting at the top, it says, Don't break my computer. Recommended for novice users. Only select updates which are known to be safe or which do not impact critical parts of the operating system. Don't show me updates which can harm the stability, stability of the system. The middle one, Optimize Stability and Security, uh, recommended for most users. Only select updates which are known to be safe or which do not impact critical parts of the operating system, but also show me security and kernel updates. Now, isn't the point or one of the nice, one of the nice features of a Linux desktop is to be a little bit more secure, so why would you not want to update security patches? Why not update security updates? Um, that's how I see it. The bottom one, always update everything, recommended for experienced users, select all the available updates. If, if, if a regression breaks something, I'll fix it. Okay. From my experience of running Linux for many years, sooner or later, after you install your default desktop or whatever Linux you know desktop you use, uh, uh, whatever Linux distro that you use, sooner or later, after you start downloading your favorite pieces of software after software after software, and doing updates, I believe that sooner or later something is going to break. It always has. So it seems to me that, again, one of the features of Linux is to be secure. I would update everything, but that's strictly my opinion as a Windows slash Linux dual booter. Okay, now that I've gotten that out of the way, I love the look and feel of this. Again, the default desktop is fine. One of the nice features of Linux Mint is the ability to add little pieces of software called applets. I installed the Pomodoro timer, the tomato timer here on the panel. Not sure why, I guess because I've never done it before. You click this, you go to settings. Again, it's, it's a little timer, different options here, duration, when to take a break, uh, sound. I believe the way this works here is uh, the on off switch here. Let's try it oh I guess that's a timer sound yeah <laughs> tonight on 60 minutes uh, are you sick of youtubers who talk too much coming up later on 60 minutes uh, don't answer that let me shut that off but <laughs> that's just an example of an applet that just came to mind that ticking sound then that shows 60 minutes anyway uh, other shortcuts here default um, applets on the panel of course time and date i showed you the update manager i did have to install kazam screen recorder uh sound settings uh and of course you could again this is self-explanatory i will not go through all of this so i give this a recommendation if you are new to the world of linux uh, definitely check out linux mint cinnamon i prefer the mate edition i think you will find that to run a little bit faster but that being said yeah Linux Mint over the years they've done a terrific job with their various versions of a Linux desktop so check it out that's all I have for this one if I missed anything let me know if there's something else you want me to take a look at I may take a look at it in the future who knows that's all I have for this one as always enjoy your technology and please don't text and drive I'll catch you guys later